Hi everybody, in today's video I'll answer the question in what order you should complete the Tri Hack Me learning paths as a complete beginner. It's been over a year since the last version of this video and Tri Hack Me has added more paths to their platform, so I thought it's about time for an updated version of last year's uh, version of this video. Now, like I've mentioned before, if you already have some experience from IT, cybersecurity, etc., or at least have some fundamental knowledge about networking, Linux, Windows, how websites work, uh, what roles we have in the cybersecurity field, etc., etc., you can probably skip the introduction to cybersecurity path and the pre-security path, which, you know, are the beginner paths, and jump straight to the more challenging paths. Or maybe you already know that you're more interested in the offensive side and not in the defensive side of cybersecurity, or vice versa, then you can only focus on doing the path covering the side of cybersecurity you are more interested in. But if you are a complete beginner and you have very little or no knowledge about cybersecurity and therefore you would like to complete all of the paths and later decide uh, what field or role in cybersecurity to learn more about, then hopefully this video can point you in the right direction. So if you are a complete beginner, this is what I think is the right order to complete the learning paths here on Try Hackman. So first, the introduction to cybersecurity path, then the pre-security path, the complete beginner path, the web fundamentals path, security engineer path, the SOC level uh, one path, the junior penetration tester path, the offensive pen testing path, cyber defense path, DevSecOps path, red teaming path, the SOC level 2 path, and finally the CompTIA pen test plus path. And as always, if we take a closer look, we can see that the order that I think is the right way to complete the paths is by completing the easy ones first, then the intermediate paths, and finally the hard paths. And yes, the CompTIA Pentest Plus path has the easy difficulty level, but I've placed it after the intermediate and hard paths on my list, but that is because by the time you get to the CompTIA Pentest Plus path, you've basically finished it, because almost all of the rooms in this path, which I'll highlight right now on my Try Hack Me Paths Overview tool, are in several of the previous paths. As we can see, 22 rooms in the CompTIA Pentest Plus path are duplicates and only 3 rooms are not. So when you finally get to the CompTIA Pentest Plus path, you can just do the 3 rooms that are not duplicates and complete the CompTIA Pentest Plus path. And the CompTIA Pentest Plus path is not the only path uh, that has rooms that you can find uh, in other paths. Uh, the same goes for other paths as well. Several of them share the same rooms. And that is something that you see on your own when you start working on the uh, different paths, or which you can see right away if you uh, use my Try Hack Me Paths Overview tool that I've built. Some of you might already be uh, familiar with it because I made a video about it and how to use it not so long ago. But if you're not familiar with it, uh, I'll leave a link to that video where I talk about it in the description of this video. And of course, I'll leave a link to the tool as well. Now, some of you might not be able to see the complete beginner path while others can. Uh, I've already talked about why in last year's version of the video you're watching right now. So I won't talk about it, but I'll leave a link to that video in the description below this video. So if you're curious about why you can't see the complete beginner path, go watch that video. But what I'm going to do is show you how you can still do the rooms in the complete beginner path uh, if you wish to do so, even if you can't see the path. As I've already mentioned, many of the rooms in the learning paths are duplicates. They can be found in more than one path. And that is the case with the complete beginner path as well. Many of its rooms are duplicates. So if you do all of the other paths, you automatically complete most of the rooms in the complete beginner path. So let's find out what rooms in the complete beginner path are duplicates and what rooms are not. For that, I'll again use my Try Hack Me Paths Overview tool. And 
as we can see, 25 rooms are duplicates spread across the offensive pen testing path, the cyber defense path, the pre-security path, web fundamentals path, the CompTIA pen test plus path, the junior penetration tester path, the security engineer path, and the red teaming path. And only nine rooms are not duplicates. So if you do all of the other paths, you automatically complete uh, 25 rooms in the complete beginner path. So the only thing you need to do is search for the remaining nine rooms on Triacme, complete them, and you've suddenly completed the complete beginner path as well even if you can't see it. And by the way, if you're watching this video at some point in the future when TriHackMe has maybe added more paths to their platform and you obviously don't hear me mention these uh, paths in this video, just take a look at the description of this video because I'll place my list of the order of how you should complete these paths as a complete beginner in the description of this video. And I'll try to add any new paths added to the TriHackMe platform to my list and I'll also add to my Try Hack Me Paths overview tool. Hopefully, if you are a complete beginner and you don't know where to begin, this video helped you figure that out. If it did and you found the video helpful, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe for more videos on Try Hack Me, cybersecurity, and ethical hacking. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.